it's an honor for us to be here. We just appreciate being a part of this and helping to do a little to give back to the men and women of our armed forces. So thank you very much for the invitation. It's an incredible event every single year. This is about my eighth time working, I guess, and enjoy working it and enjoy meeting people that we see year after year and are looking forward to a great day. It's an honor to be here every year, but especially on the 10th anniversary, it's just amazing to see how much this program has grown, how many lives it's affecting, and what a positive impact it's had. Great way to build long-term, lifetime relationships and share a sport with uh, some guys that I have a lot of passion for and love for, and it's just great to be outside and God's nature and beautiful setting here. It started back in 2008. It was a small event. It's grown every year, but more importantly than getting bigger every year, it's gotten better every year. We just have such great Healing Waters anglers that join us. We have a tremendous community. We have awesome volunteers, generous sponsors. Just every year it just seems to keep getting better and better. I mean, it, every year feels like a family reunion coming back here, and it's truly just an amazing group of people. The community of Bridgewater is tremendous supporters of the event. Uh, Mossy Creek Fly Fishing, um, Bob Fitch, John Maiko, and all the volunteers from this community are absolutely phenomenal. And it's all about supporting our warriors and supporting Project Killing Waters. It's the most important weekend of my entire year. You actually get to see how uh, the funds get used and how the healing happens. And so it, that's, that's unique and that's important. And, and uh, this thing's just turned into such a family and community event. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's just amazing. Mossy Creek is, uh, is one of our uh, foundational fundraisers. Uh, it means a lot to bring everybody together. It's kind of like getting the family all together once a year to have, have a great event. Yeah, going into our 10th year here, uh, once again, we just feel so fortunate uh, locally to be able to help uh, such a worthy project. The citizens, you know, we're, we're excited every year to get the banner and the flags out uh, and welcome the, the warriors here. And it heals them now, here, today, like it's been doing for 10 years. It's a very important uh, part of this, uh, this event. We've learned from fly fishing is you can't be thinking about anything else. And this is a chance for them to learn that kind of experience of, hey, I don't have to be thinking about what, what the rest of my life is like. In the last nine years, this event has raised over $1.4 million for Project Healing Waters Fly Fishing. And with your support today, uh, we're gonna push that number even higher. And the great thing is that we're gonna do it by fishing and having fun. Uh, this is only possible because of a team effort. Um, our volunteers, uh, uh, our Healing Waters anglers who honor us with their presence, um, the professional guides from Monster Creek Fly Fishing, and, and last but certainly not least, our host Bob and Robin Fitch. This is the tenth, as John said. Uh, we had a goal of raising a million dollars in ten years. We did it in seven. Um, and about 96 or 7 cents on every dollar contributed goes back to programs. Uh, no charity can match that. This event is special and unique in that way. Somebody asked me, how would well, you guys think up this thing right now? Eleven years ago, John and I hosted some vets. There were six vets that came just to hang out for a weekend. I didn't know anything about Project Killing Waters, neither did John. Which is so okay, bring it down. Ed Nicholson brought down six people. A mother, daughter, both of Walter Reed, Vietnam, double amputee, Sergeant Norris, a private, Captain Avon Forsett. I noticed Avon was having a tough time that weekend. And we sat on the front porch together that Saturday night. And I looked at him and I said, okay, airborne ranger to airborne ranger, war veteran to war veteran, man to man. I said, you just gotta get over this. You've got a whole future ahead of you. And Avon looked at me, and he looked out the stream, he goes, I'll make you a deal. I'll get over it if you have a fly fishing tournament at Mossy Creek for Project Healing Waters every year, and we shook hands. That's why we're here. Go! When this day is over, you will be a better angler than you were when the day started. Or you will be a former angler. <laughs> Mossy Creek requires you to move with discretion, be patient, be thoughtful, help each other.
well, well, well. I mean, what a day of fishing. I cannot remember an afternoon of fishing uh, where people were racking up numbers like a pinball machine at the time today. So my compliments to all of you for demonstrating some extraordinary angling prowess, patience, tenacity, and all the other things that are required. And with 175 and a quarter points, it's my great pleasure to present the 2017 Mossy Creek Champions Trophies to Avon Forsyth and Greg Paul. Time and time again, we hear the words, you saved my life. Time and time again, we hear the words, you got me back with my family. This program is saving lives. And we hear it, we see it. Money that you guys donate here and the efforts that our volunteers give across the nation really, truly do have an amazing and positive effect on the disabled vets that we serve. We don't care what war area you came from. We don't care if you're post 9-11, pre-9-11. We don't care. I got my draft notice in 1971 and was not going to go to Vietnam. I enlisted when military police airborne. Yeah. Uh -huh. And guess where I ended up? The name Vietnam. I uh, spent six years in the Army. While I was overseas, I was exposed to Agent Orange. I started suffering severe depression, post-traumatic stress, probably at my lowest point in life. I started going to fly tying classes, and something clicked. And for the, the first three and a half years that I was a member of Healing Waters, I tied a few flies, a little bit over 10,000 of them. And now I teach fly tying, I teach rod building. I'm giving back because this organization gave me my life back. And for that, I can never repay that enough. I attribute my recovery to this program. This program undoubtedly saved my life. This is far from the confines of the hospital. This is far from the confines or the environment of the sands and the jungles that a lot of us return from. What's incredible about this 10 years later is something that I've thought hard about because for me it's been about 12 years since I got hammered. For some of us that are here, some of these warriors that were hammered back before I was born. Right? We got folks that have been carrying demons for decades, right? And what I have learned is that when I say that I have, that I attribute most of my recovery to healing waters, my recovery is not done. My recovery will never be done. For the, for the donors, for the volunteers, thank you so much for everything that you do. And let's not forget the warriors. Thank you for the courage to step up and allow yourself to receive this kind of therapy and to participate. So with that, I just again say thank you very much. Thank you for being here. And let's continue to kick ass and we'll be here again next week. Thank you. And just pick one word that really explains what's going on here today. Um, I would say that I would, I would say that it's love. It's the same sort of love that we all share with each other on the battlefield. And we, you all have been able to regenerate that. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, for all that love because it's made a big difference in the lives of every one of us. And I can tell you um, as a participant, um, it's what made a big difference for me. Uh, to know that, uh, that there are people out there that really do care. Uh, there are people out there that, that really want to help you, uh, but they want to help you in a way that you're gonna help yourself too. And, and that's really the power of this, of this organization. That's really the power of, of what's going on here today. You know, we all love each other um, and it's all good. It's all good. So thank you very much for that. And it's, again, it's an honor and really a privilege for me to be able to be involved in this organization and to lead it uh, forward into the future. Thank you very much. Last night, uh, we received the largest, single largest gift 
from a family ever for this tournament, from a Trinary family. They helped us this year to hit a number we've never ever hit, hit before. And Nicholson, if you would come up, Todd, Rossier, if you would come up. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Walter Creek Invitational, 10th Annual, $241,000. We look forward to seeing you next year on the first Saturday in June for the 11th annual Moss Creek Invitation. Thank you so much.